This is very effective against any minor fire, though it would, of course, be useless against the full fuel loads of either the four or acid. Our film records show what can happen even without an explosion when full loads of propellants are prematurely mixed by a missile accident. The effect is very picturesque, very expensive, and very dangerous. No present-day firefighting equipment can cope with the violence of these fires until the bulk of the fuel is burned out. No precaution would do any good if, in violation of safety regulations, any personnel were present in an exposed position. For this reason, our major reliance in launch area safety has to go beyond individual safety discipline. Two power supplies, two receivers inside the missile, possibly miles away by this time, will be sure fire. The system works without fail. But remember, in spite of the near perfection that we've built into the flight safety system, we do not intend to use it, except as a last resort. Then fell over plunged toward Earth. It was deliberately destroyed while still in the air. The ball of fire in the sky points up a valuable lesson. Perfecting missiles is a difficult business. Germany's V-2 project required some 2,000 full-scale flight tests during 1944-45 to produce about 6,000 operational missiles. Granted, this was a last desperate measure on the part of Germany to produce a superweapon. Still, 2,000 flight tests are not necessarily excessive in the development of a new missile.